For problems like this that have fractions, the best way to work with these is to eliminate the fractions by multiplying both sides by the common denominator. Uh, so if we take a look at this problem, we see that the common denominator uh, is going to be 4 on this one. Now, how we know that is because uh, you just look at the larger number and you see if the other ones are factors of it. So 2 is a factor of uh, 4, goes in evenly, and 4 is a factor of itself. So 4 would be the denominator uh, that we would have. Now, we're not going to get common denominators for all these. Instead, we're going to multiply both sides of the equation. So the entire equation, I'm going to multiply by 4, which is the common denominator, which means I have 4 over 1 times x over 2, and then 4 over 1 times 5 halves, 4 over 1 times x over 4, plus 4 over 1 times 1. Now I'm writing these as 4 over 1 instead of 4, because it'll be easier to see when I'm working with fractions. That way I have a top and a bottom to look at. Now these first two, we can divide these. So 2 goes into itself once, 4 divided by 2 is 2. Same thing happens here, and these fours are going to cancel. So when we put this together, we're going to end up with just 2x over 1, or 2x here. Then 2 times 5 is 10. Everything else canceled out. There's a 1 in the bottom, which you don't need to show. Fours cancel, but we still have an x, x over 1, or just x. And then 4 over 1, 4 times 1 is 4. So in that one step, we were able to eliminate all the fractions. That's the strategy you want to do on these kind of problems. From here, we just need to solve for x. So I'm going to subtract x from both sides because I want to get all the x's on one side of the equation. I get x minus 10 is less than or equal to 4. And then from here, I want to add 10 uh, to both sides. So doing that will give us x is less than or equal to 14 by adding 10 to both sides to get the x by itself. From here, we just need to draw it on number line and do interval notation. So we're going to do a closed circle because we have a less than or equal to, and that's going to be at 14. It's less than, which means that you want to have the arrow going to the left. For the interval notation, since it does go to the left, we have to start with negative infinity since that's smaller than 14. But 14 itself is going to have to have a bracket because you have a closed circle there. Let's do the next one. Do that in a similar way. So for this, the common denominator is going to be 14 because 14 is a factor of itself, 14, and then 7 divides into 14. So that's what we're going to use. So we're going to multiply the entire equation by 14. So I'm just going to put a 14 over 1 in front of uh, all of these. So I have x over 14 here. Then I have minus, I'll put 14 over 1 times 1 seventh. Greater than 14 over 1, x over 7, plus 14 over 1, and then times 1. Now we just need to, we're, we'll simplify all this. So these 14s, those are going to cancel there. If I divide this, there's a 1 there, and that'll be a 2. Same with this. So 1 and a 2 will be up here. So I get x and then minus, that's just going to be 2 only, because all I have is 14 over 7, which is 2. Greater than. Uh, this, the it's just going to be 2x, and there's a 1 in the bottom, so that's done there, plus 14. All right, so now that I have that complete, I just need to get all the x's on one side. Now again, uh, even though I could subtract the x and put it over on the uh, right-hand side, I always, for these problems with, with inequalities, I always want to move things over to the left-hand side. x minus 2 is negative x minus 2 greater than 14. Now I need to add 2 to both sides, and in doing so, we'll get negative x greater than 16 by adding 2. Now, there's a negative 1 that's in front, so I need to divide both sides by negative 1. And in doing so, that's going to flip the inequality symbol. 
So we get X is less than negative 16. Remember, whenever, whenever you uh, uh, divide an inequality or multiply an inequality by a negative number, the sign switches. All right, so now that I have this complete, I just need to do the number line and the interval notation. Negative 16 is going to be an open circle, and it's less than, which means it's going to be opening up to the left. Since it goes to the left, I need to start with negative infinity. And that's going to go to negative 16, and negative 16 is going to have an open circle there. Uh, or I have a parenthesis there because of the open circle and the greater than uh, symbol. There's no equal sign underneath this in the original problem at all and in the end. So because there's no equal sign there, that's why we're using an open circle and a parenthesis.